What is up everybody, it's Dr. GTA coming to you with another GTA 5 PC configuration setting tutorial. For those of you who have 2 gig or less video cards and you have a GTX 500 series, you know, 600, 660, 650, you know, you're running a 770, 760 and you cannot get that maximum frame rate but you want 1080p, well this video is pretty much for you. So hit like and subscribe because we're going to be getting into this video and I'm going to be showing you everything you need to do to get that nice frame per second steady frame smooth running through 1080p. And I'm also going to give you links to download it and some additional effects to fix your game. Now first off, this is the configuration you want to run. DirectX 10, you want to run 1920, everything in here. I'm going to give you a download link in the description too. FXA on um, pretty much everything on here you can copy or you can just get the one in the description I'm gonna, and you can put it in your GTA 4 folder which I'll link the address in the description too. Everything's normal, sharp, x16, a lot of stuff of this stuff is off. I recommend also if you have a problem I would run it in windowed mode also because that'll fix it. And I, I would make sure you turn ignore suggested limits off because you're going to be over the limit. Then advanced settings, make sure everything is off including long shadows but you can leave that on if you want to. It just depends on how much performance your CPU takes. After that, you're going to um, want to save the game, restart. Once you get back in game, you're going to alt tab out of the game. You're going to go to your desktop. You're going to use control alt delete or control shift escape, whichever you can push. And you push each of the three buttons at the same time. So you'll push control alt delete at the same time. And once you open up task manager, which should open up, you're going to go to the processes tab. When you get to that process tab, you're going to look for something called gtavlauncher.exe. You're going to right click on it, and there's two ways of going about this. You can end the process and just load back into your game, or you can right click on it, go to priority, and change the priority to low. These, th this thing will actually decrease the RAM usage and the CPU usage of GTA 5. So when you get back in your game, it might run way better or it might run the same. I'm not sure, but this has had mixed reviews and it's ran really good for the last 24 hours. Some people say when they end it, it actually makes the game work better for five minutes and then it crashes. And then some people say when they're driving around, it doesn't crash. And then some people say they recommend turning it to low priority instead in order to keep it running so they don't crash. Whichever one works for you, I recommend doing. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. Um, this is pretty much all I needed to say. Go back, try these settings out, see what you think. Leave a like on the video if it helped you. If it didn't, dislike it, whatever. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.